Hi friends, welcome back to the homestead. So I'm here in the sunroom. Now that all the gardening stuff is out of the sunroom, we can go ahead and get it set up for the arrival of our chicks. Yes, that time has finally come. So we're gonna show you what we um, have for the chicks, how we're gonna set up the brooder, all that good stuff, because um, they shipped yesterday, which was um, May 14th. And so they will most likely be here tomorrow, um, which is Thursday, May 16th. That's what we're hoping. Anyway, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, become a member of the Bradley Bunch. That way you won't miss a thing. So if you're interested in seeing how we're going to set up for these new babies, keep watching. All right, friends. So the first thing we have is the little feeder. We decided to start with this size because again, these are chicks. Um, and then we have the matching waterer. We really like this design. We thought it was, you know, fun, colorful, playful, that sort of thing. And plus it has little chickens on it. Who doesn't love that? Um, we also picked up a bag of marbles uh, because we were told to use marbles because apparently chicks are, are not very smart and they could literally drown in a little bit of water. So we're putting marbles into the waterer with the water to make sure that doesn't happen. Safety first. Uh, the next thing we have, um, we bought some electrolytes because that was recommended for when they arrive because our chicks are being shipped by McMur uh, Murray McMurray Hatchery. This is our first time trying them because this is our first time having chicks. But all the homesteaders that we watch on YouTube swear by Murray McMurray. So we decided to go with them for our chicks. Um, and so we're going to be adding the electrolytes just to kind of help, you know, give them a boost when they get here. Just to make sure they're drinking water. Give them a good start. And then speaking of starts, we bought this Cluck & Company. It's organic chick starter crumbles. We got it from Tractor Supply along with um, this Do More Chick Grit. So um, we wanted to make sure that our, our chicks were really healthy, had a good healthy diet. Um, we did not get medicated feed. I want to go ahead and put that out there. Our uh, feed is not medicated because we had Murray McMurray to go ahead and vaccinate our chickens for um, coccidiosis and for Merix. So that's why they don't need the medicated feed. The only time you would really need the medicated feed is if your chicks are not vaccinated. And then the last thing um, I want to show you before we get to the brooder is these puppy pads. So the reason we got these is we were watching some YouTubers going back and forth about whether or not to put down the uh, pine shavings or paper towel or whatever when they first arrive. Well, they say that you should put paper towel or something flat um, in the brooder to allow their feet some time to get used to walking. And we wanted something that was going to be a little more absorbent than paper towel. So we decided to go with the puppy pads. And so that is what we have for the chicks for when they arrive. And next up, I'm going to show you what the brooder is because you may be surprised. All right, y'all, so this is what we're going to use for our brooder. We chose this because, as you can see, it's very well ventilated. It's huge. Look at all this space those babies are going to have. It's got um, little windows that you can raise, all that good stuff, to have easy access to the food um, as well as the, uh, the brooder. And I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to use as well because I completely forgot to show you the heat source that we're going to use for them. But wanted you to see all this. So the husband's got it. So we're going to use the uh, Producer's Pride Chicken Coop Heater and Brooder. And we chose to go this route because um, for us, fire safety is huge. 
and we didn't want to risk having um, a, a heated light bulb or, you know, the, the red light bulb, you know, not being secure enough and then something happening to our chicks. So we chose this because apparently it's much more um, safe for your chicks. It's sa safer for us. Um, and it mimics the mother hen. So that's why we chose this as our, um, our heat source for our, our babies. So yes, so back to the lovely brooder. So it has a mesh roof to keep them from flying out when they get to that point. It's got little pockets and we think this is going to be perfect. So we are going to start putting everything in um, and getting it set up for the baby. So the first thing we're going to put down um, are the uh, puppy pads. All right, so we've got the bottom covered with the puppy pads. Now we're just going to start throwing in the accessories where we want them. So the feeder, the water, the heat source, all that good stuff. All right, so we've got the brooder heater in there. We've kind of got it at an angle, so those chicks that are a little bit taller can be toward the front. Those that are a little shorter can be toward the back. Um, if I didn't mention it before, we are getting 16 chicks and hopefully and prayerfully they will all survive the trip. But so far we've got that set up. Now we're going to add um, everything else. All right, so we're going to set the food and the water inside. We may leave it like this or we'll probably put it together because they need to be able to find both. So we'll probably put them side by side um, just so that they know where their water is. So yeah, and it'll be, make it easier for us to just grab them and refill them when needed. And the last thing we're gonna add is their little toy because we did um, get them a toy so that they are not pecking each other. Um, it's something simple that we ordered from Amazon and see it's something so that they can perch or roost practice their roosting skills and then of course we'll add little toys as they get older because they'll be in the house about three to four weeks depending on when their feathers come in so this is our setup y'all um, tell us what you think are you using this type of setup we really would love uh, to know so um, yeah, so now we just wait on our babies. And once we get them here, we'll go ahead and add the feed and the water. And yeah, I'm so excited. I hope you're as excited as we are. Good morning, friends. So it is Friday. What day is it? May 17th? Friday, May 17th. It is about 6.40 a.m. We have gotten the call. We are on our way to the post office to pick up our chicks. And we are super excited. We get babies. So yeah, I'm, I'm geeking out right now, but we are super excited. So we've been waiting for a long time for these chicks. So hopefully they're all healthy and they made it uh, through their journey alive and intact so we'll see all right we are pulling up at our post office but because they are currently closed to the public we actually have to go to the dock to pick up our chicks so <laughs> I'm so excited. Babe, are you excited? Excited. Woohoo. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, we got our chicks. And listen to the sounds of that peeping. Oh my God, it's so adorable. I can't wait to get home and, and get them out of the box. They've been cooped up, bless their hearts, for almost three days because they shipped 
on Tuesday evening and they'll be in this box until we get them home in about 15-ish minutes so yay all right friends so we just got the brooder set up we've got their food and water inside we just set it up now we're getting ready to get them out of the box look at them oh look at the babies one one and we're going to dip his little beak in the water. Oh, hi, baby. There's two. There's three. There's four. Fifteen. <laughs> Last one. Sixteen. So all 16 babies are healthy. Now we're showing them where the heat is. Yeah, just stick them right under there, babe, if you can. If they're not staying, once you introduce them to the heat, they'll go under. That one's already heating. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> they say we're hungry and thirsty. Look at them. Oh, the babies. Maybe take some of the crumble out and just have a little trail yeah. to the um, to the feeder. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, make a trail. There you go. Look how fast they are. <laughs> well, guys, so we got 16 chicks, and all 16 of them survived the journey. So now we're just going to watch them for a few days. So you're probably wondering what breeds we got. So we got, um, what do we get? We got eight breeds, two of each. So we got two black Australorps. We got um, two buff Orpingtons, two white Orpingtons. We've got um, two silver laced wine dots or red silver laced wine dots. I forget the name. Um, we got two golden lace wine dots. I feel like there's another wine dot in there. Uh, we also got two Rhode Island reds. And we got some good, you know, good layers. So, yeah. I'll, have, I'll put the complete list in the description box because I can't remember. I'm just way too excited for my brain to work. But look at them. They're precious. So... This is the setup we have for them, and there's their little rooster. As you can see, they are finding their food and their water. Some of them are over by the heat source, and they're, they're loving it. Um, we do have a ceiling fan going just so that there's air circulation because we know it's going to get a little stinky in here. Um, we don't have a barn, which is why we are brooding them in our house. Um, but it's okay because we can close the sunroom off. Uh, from the rest of the house, which is great. Um, but yeah, so those are our new babies, our little cheeky chickies. Um, so in a few months, four to six months, we will have some some egg layers. They'll be laying in about four to six months, so we're excited. And we will keep you posted on their journey. 
and and you know give you updates on how they're doing and as you can see right now they're quite happy to be out of that box they're drinking and running. yeah they're running so they seem to be good there's a few under the under the brooder they're just like um we cold <laughs> so they can go under and get warm when they need to so yeah all right, you guys, so that's all we have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on everything going on here at the Bradley Homestead. We love you. God bless you. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.